What's popping with y'all? It's your boy Casey Trifati, and I coming back with another video on the Sliders Network. We are here in Portia and Lucy, Florida. Uh, this is a familiar city for me. I've been here before. Uh, it looked pretty much pretty much developed. I out here at a Sam's Club making some delivering some the uh, some freaking gas regular and some premium. I wanted to get with y'all for those of you who don't know I work for Pilot Flying J. By no means I um getting paid by them to do this video or anything. I just making this video because why not? I want to make some content for my channel. So in today's video I'll be talking about a Vita route. If y'all thinking about getting in the fueling industry you know, everybody know you need your hazmat. Everybody know you need a Twit card. Everybody know you need to get carded and stuff. But, you know, there's other words and different lingo that we use in the industry. So come slide with me. We're going to break down a freaking Vita root and how to read it. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. Like I said, it's the boy KC Trifati. We on the Sliders Network. Please remember to like, follow, subscribe, comment, and um, you know, let me know if you like any content or not. So, I here at this uh, Sam's Club delivering, and we're gonna be talking about what a Vita route is and why we need it. So, a Vita route is basically what we use to measure the tax. Um, we are privy and prone and lucky to use a digital one. And um, this is a perfect example. I'm gonna leave the address out so y'all don't come here and bombard the place. So our video route is as followed. Hopefully y'all can see. You see, for example, tank one is unleaded. You get the volume, 100%, 90%, height, water, and temp. Hopefully y'all can see that good. It looks a little grainy or a little blurry. But I'm gonna break it down for y'all. But basically the Vita route is important because you want to know how much product you could plan a tank. Uh, the benefit of the Vita route is so you don't freaking overflow the freaking tank. That's something you don't want to do in the fuel industry. You don't want to crash drop, which means you don't want to put premium in regular and regular in premium or diesel in regular and vice versa, so down the line. You don't want to mix products. But the Vita route is another thing because if you go over the 100% and all this stuff overflows from all of these tanks, you don't have to be making that call to your company. They're not going to be happy about that because Vita route is accessible. You know, it's just a little piece of printing paper and freaking you're supposed to use it. For example, right here, and I drop in some premium and some regular, but we're going to just keep it on the premium side because. The premium is a smaller amount and I don't want to be gaining all that depth of um, all of that crazy stuff. So here on my paperwork, they ordered 3,000 gallons of premium fuel. There's a thing on the app that we use to see if we can use it, but when we come to the store, we always print out a freaking Vita root copy. You might see in some places, some people or some companies use like a stick to put a stick in the ground. I call it a magic stick. Ah! And I can show y'all the magic stick right now. What do you mean by that? This is why I call it a magic stick. I got the magic stick. You know what I'm talking about? This thing be going from, it's measured, measured in inches. And it freaking, this stick is as long as. Hey, oh, yo! Oh, wow. 167 let's call it 168 inches or 14 feet truth be told a lot of places don't like using the magic stick because people is clumsy um people is clumsy doofuses bro like people will have the stick in their hand and they'll freaking drop it in the tank and that's not good you don't want to put a stick in freaking gasoline and like do all type of stuff so plus we in a digital age in an age where digitai, digitization is freaking good. So anyway, tangent. So the Vita route is a 
tool that we use to, like I said, measure the amount of product in the tank. And like I said, we don't want to over the tank. So say you got three thousand, you gotta order for three thousand gallons of premium fuel. When you get to the stop or you got to the delivery spot, now you go and print this thing, the Vita Root. It comes out on this piece of paper, receipt paper, or you might be able to log in to your company's uh, top, um, uh, database and they'll tell you what's in the tank. But in this case, we're using a receipt. You got your 3,000 gallons of premium. Now you print out this Vita Root and you see here your volume. Your volume shows 6,742 gallons. That's in the tank right now. Your 100% eulage is what you could put as 100%, which is, I think that's what, 5,107? Yeah. Um, but what we use is the 90%. The 90% is your safe haven. As long as you don't go over 90%, which in this case, the 90% would be 3,922. So I am 922 gallons short from the 90%. Yup, you know what I mean? We Gucci, we don't have to worry about it. So uh, the Vita Root is important. You know what I mean? A lot of things is important, like I said, but the Vita Root is, if you could get a freaking digital copy of it, cool. If you could get a, a tangible or printable copy of it, cool. And if the places allow you to use the magic stick, you can use the magic stick and dip, this, dip the tank, you know what I mean? Because it's the same thing. It's going to tell you the inches, and there's a book called the, uh, I forgot what the name of the book is. Uh, it's like a guide. I'll, I'll freaking look up the, the name of the book. I got it in my truck. But um, is this, it's called the Omen's Guide. The Omen's Guide, it tells you, okay, basically, the tank is eight inches wide or eight inches tall or eight feet tall by whatever it is use the omens guide book to freaking get your measurements by the inches but it's a formula that you use and it'll tell you how much gallons you can put in so yeah i hope that i hope that information made sense to y'all um that's just the lingo that we use in the fueling industry there's a lot of lingo and i think i'm gonna just do a little Rampage on all the lingos that we use, like loading rack, you know, V to root, um, compartments, and all of that stuff. I'm gonna just do videos that are explaining that stuff so y'all know. So, if you're thinking about getting in the fueling industry, you're not coming in as like a freaking yes, come in as a blank piece of paper so you could get all the information needed, but at least you're coming in with something to your arsenal and some words in the vocabulary. So, when one of these old heads talk to you about like oh go and get the Vita root you'll be like what's the Vita root of course they'll explain it to you but it'll be dope right if they ask you hey what's a Vita root and you say yo kc340 from youtube showing me what a Vita root is and how to read it and um i hope i did a good job explaining it um, if y'all want me to do another in-depth video with it um i don't know how deep you can get with this information <laughs> to be honest but if y'all want me to do another video breaking down the video route, I could, I would, I don't see why not. So, thanks for sliding with your boy. Thanks for tuning in. And until we meet again, stay safe, old chat. Hey, hey, hey.